The vaccination itself took maybe a minute less. Um, it was very quick, very simple, mostly painless. I sent in an email and then got a call back, I think either later that day or the next day um, for a couple phone screenings and then an in-person screening. We did some blood tests and other uh, tests to make sure I was eligible. The difference between this vaccine and others that are widely available, rather than using a live virus, they use a messenger RNA sequence that actually teaches your body to produce a protein um, that has a similar shape to the coronavirus in order to get it to produce antibodies that would fight against that infection. So I'm never going to be exposed to the virus itself at any point in the trial, um, but they'll be testing my blood to see if it has started producing those antibodies. After I got the first vaccination, they kept me for an hour for observation to see if there were any initial reactions. Um, and now I have a form that I fill out every day. I take my temperature every day to see if I'm running a fever. I write down any other symptoms like a cough, headache, nausea, um, and you know if there's anything at the site of the injection, redness, swelling, things like that. And then I get a second vaccination um, four weeks after the first one. And then I'll also be observed over the coming uh, year. As of now, um, I'm feeling great. I haven't had any adverse reactions. My temperature has been normal. Um, really nothing of note to report so far. I'm really excited to be part of the study and I do sincerely hope that we can develop a vaccine that's able to be used by the general public and avoid all these deaths and, and hospitalizations that have happened because of it.